What's going on guys? Good morning. We're out here trying to find some breakfast for day two. Um, you know, it's kind of hard because everything opens a little later. I feel like a lot of shops kind of wait till it gets a little bit busier before they start prepping things. But pretty much we're just going to try to get a quick little breakfast in before we have to check out of our Airbnb. Originally our plan was to go to Cappadocia. Sorry if we say it wrong. But, you know, because of COVID and stuff, we have to get some, like, uh, security tests done, and it's, it's a headache. So, we're going to figure out if we can just get on a bus and go to Izmir, which is, like, a city about four hours from Istanbul. And, yeah, so hopefully we can figure out what to do today. If not, I'm perfectly fine with taking a chill because, yo, I'm exhausted. I'm not going to lie. So, stay tuned. I'm going to see what we can find for breakfast, and then uh, when we find something, I'll show you guys what we get. Let's go. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's an elevator in this restaurant. We're gonna go to the rooftop. They're gonna whack us here, bro. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah, it looks good until we see that ticket. Stay tuned. Thank you. This is the way to do breakfast. I went up that side. Guys, so we got the restaurant all to ourselves. This is lit, yo. Like, I'm, I'm super happy because, like, like, I know COVID is super, like, you know? It's like very serious, but the fact that certain places that usually would be super, 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 super busy are pretty empty. Like literally look, we're the only people at this rooftop of this beautiful view, guys. It's mind blowing. We're gonna take advantage of it, get some cool shots here, and uh, show you guys what we get for breakfast. Let's go. Good morning. Morning, thank you. Thank you. I wish I could understand half the stuff. It's called Ahsan Pesatin Adresi and it has beautiful views guys literally all right so what I'm thinking I'm just gonna get some base oh they trying to give us all of that we don't need all that okay this looks like chodro I am not gonna lie this is ass bro how was this though I ain't gonna lie how was this many men or it was good I didn't like the texture though yeah I like I usually like for breakfast I like just like some type of uh, like sausage or bacon but I don't think they do that bacon here um eggs and like fruit and coffee and orange juice pretty basic we'll see what we get guys everything looks really good i have a lot of options here and yeah stay tuned perfect can we get this please this one okay yeah, we don't need all that fresh orange juice yeah limit orange juice please. Orange. Okay, yeah limit. all right guys so we just ordered a huge breakfast um stay tuned guys we're gonna link the place in the description below um, so you guys can check it out if you're ever in Istanbul, Turkey. Right here, bro, it's lit. We're not in Italy. Stop. Mm -hmm. They do this here. They're doing too much. If you do this, there's two. Okay, guys, quick little info. I learned this on a YouTube video. If you go like, mm -hmm, or something like that, mm -hmm. it means it's good. But it's all about the body language because this means fuck you pretty much. Like, you stupid. You stupid. They don't. They don't. They're not Italian. I'm over here thinking I'm in Italy because I'm eating bread every day. So pretty much, guys, room is good. Mmm, it's good. Or stupid is bad. You know what I mean? So just watch how you do this or that. You feel me? Watch your fingers because they will. They will get with. They, they ain't. They ain't scary, bro. I'm serious. Taxi driver done showed me that immediately. Snatch my card, talking American. I'm like, whoa, bro. Like, I'm just trying to pay you because I ain't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? But that's another story. We're gonna do a story time for real now. Thank you. Cheers to life. Let's go. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh my God, guys, this looks amazing. So this is eggs and sausage, and then. This is jam. These are jellies. We have jellies and fruits and all types of stuff. I'm excited. This is an actual traditional turkey breakfast, so we'll talk more about it in a second. But I'm mesmerized, guys. Let's go. Right here for the vlog. Yeah, you do it, guys. In that Instagram picture. Yes, sir, ski. 
Yes, sir. And so, about, just a bunch of stuff. Like, don't ever interrupt me. <laughs> fuck is you talking about? So, put the camera on the food. So, with every meal that you get here, they always give you bread. Um, but for breakfast, they give you a variety of different jellies so that you can add to your bread. Then some cucumbers with tomatoes, some olives, some fruit, some cheeses. Um, I'm pretty sure this is baklava and I don't know what this is but then we have our oils here and our little fried egg with sausage What's the first thing we should try Moni? What's the first thing? Should we just put it right here? Well, I'm gonna get a piece of bread and I Damn, <laughs> why the fuck? It's hot bro Like don't get, don't let this fool, this view fool you guys Don't let this this view fool yeah, you guys red. <laughs> Like don't let this view fool you guys. Like it is hot as fuck. It's beautiful, but I'm sorry, we gonna move all our shit that way. Don't <laughs> just <laughs> you be pissed off, bro. It's hard as <laughs> <friend. laughs> Alright, man. So let me just try something. Um I'm gonna try bread. Hold on man. I'm gonna try um I'm gonna try one of these jellies. I'm gonna try the motherfucking black lava. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, what is this? That's baklava. What is it? I think that's baklava. Oh, what is it? I don't know. Alright, baklava. But I think you're supposed to try it. Oh, you see, it's food. We just have to start a plate. What the fuck are you talking about? Wait. Hold on. Alright guys, first bite. I don't think this is baklava. I don't know what it is. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Let me try it. Yo, it's fire, bro. Okay. But I don't think you got any of the cheese. Maybe uh -oh. you just ate the bread. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I need some bread. Let me get this one. Mmm, that's good. Mm, that's good, right? Alright guys, hopefully I don't get copyrighted by the music, so we're gonna cut this video right here. We're gonna enjoy this beautiful spread. We wanted to show you guys a traditional Turkish breakfast. And I'm sure there's a lot of variations all throughout the city and all over different parts of Turkey, but we're gonna try them one by one and show you guys. We're gonna link in the description the, the name of the restaurant we're at currently at with this beautiful view. And we're gonna also put the pricing so you guys are aware and you guys know what you guys are getting into. But I hope you guys enjoy. It's hot. It's hot. All right, ready, ready, ready. All right. But guys, be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm gonna be dropping daily, so let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments below. Let me know if you're from Turkey. Let me know where you're... Bro, for real, like, you're really playing, bro. Like, you're really Sorry, playing. Sorry, you go. Like, let me know in the comments, bro. that's what you were saying. Give me. Oh. I'm gonna edit this, bro, too. Y'all see YouTube videos. It ain't that pretty in YouTube. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm choking over here. She's over here like, so my dad. So my dad took a walk. Cheers. I'm feeling super blessed right now. And grateful. I want of everything. Like, you already tried, well, on the camera. How should I do it? On the camera. So start with the fruit tree. Okay. Um. Eat the but. Eat the banana? Okay. Dip it in one of the sauces. Ooh. Okay. Pick a sauce. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip it in um, strawberry. You can't go wrong with banana strawberry. Mm. That one's good. Alright, next get an olive. And fuck no. You have I'm to. I'm not doing no olive. You have to. This is great for olive. No. That's the fruit tree. Go to the olive. I'm not getting no fucking olive. Yes. I don't eat olives. Get it. Choose a different color one. Put some lemon on it. I'm not eating this hard ass shit. <laughs> I'm not eating it. Come I'm on. not eating it, bro. For the video, I'm not going to be fake for a video. Like, I don't eat that shit. Alright. I don't eat You don't need to eat more fruit. I want to eat more cake, like no more fruit. Fuck out of here. Alright, uh. That's cheese. I forgot, I just don't know how to eat my food. Like, it's not, like, it's not my food. Like, it's going in your mouth, it's going in your stomach. Fine, dip it. Go ahead, dip it. 
I'm sorry, but this one. Yeah, see, so, oh yeah, to the right Exactly, thing. I know. Put some red on that shit. Alright guys, so this is traditional Turkish tea right here and pretty much it comes with the meal that we um, got but it supposedly it's super tasty so we're gonna give it a try. Alright guys, so let's try this tea out together guys. Um, you know, I'm not a big tea person, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, we gotta we gotta try new culture stuff. We gotta try everything that's from here, just so we can actually embrace it. I'm really trying. I really want to learn some words and some phrases, and even try my best to learn as much as possible while I'm here. Just, just because. Um, let me just wait, cause my sister just spit all over me. Let's take a second. All right, but yeah, I just want to dive into the culture completely. Like, I really love going to c different countries and like exploring and just meeting the locals. You know, a lot of people just want to hit up all the tourist attractions and stuff like that. But to be honest, like in the beginning of my travels, that was where my mind was at. But nowadays, like I don't like it's cool. I definitely want to see the tourist things, but I want to knock them out like that so that I can just focus on like the actual country and like focus on the culture, the, the locals, the real locals, because they always know all the great hidden spots. And you know, it's always cool to hear their story. You know, there's a lot of good people out there that, you know, don't get, you know, they don't have a platform to kind of just, um, you know, just talk about their story. So hopefully I meet somebody here while I'm in Turkey and um, I'm able to talk to them. So stay tuned for that. Let's try this tea though. Cheers. Come all the way over here. Really? Oh, it's hot as fuck. Are you ready? Ooh. Come on. Alright, cheers. Cheers, guys. Okay. Not bad. Sugar. It's not bad. Oh, I didn't add any? <laughs> oh my god, I thought she threw some sugar in. She spit at me and she... <laughs> Alright. But it's actually good without it. Like, to be honest, you don't need two. You just need maybe one. Guys, today's a beautiful day, bro. Like, you know, if you woke up today, you're blessed. You know, whatever happened yesterday doesn't matter anymore. If you have a set income that you want to make, guys, you just gotta work hard, you gotta hustle. You know, you can't live a top 1% life, top 3% life, and, you know, watch Netflix all day and, you know, complain all day and, you know, not try to, be, you know, initiate and, you know, be productive. You're not going to make those type of numbers, those type of figures with a minimum wage type work ethic. You have to have a, a work ethic like no other, you know, and even then, it's not even guaranteed because getting to that top one percent is hard and me personally i'm on that journey you know it's a roller coaster like it's up and down and up you know and i have my great months i have my bad months you know i have the months where i'm frustrated me and you are not different the difference is like you know i understand that where i was you know a few years ago and where i want to continue to go you know i see people I, I i've been around people that make 20 times more than me you know i've been around people that are self-made millionaires i've been around people that you know, didn't make excuses and just got to work and really made it happen. So at the end of the day, guys, if they can do it, I can do it and you can do it. So I'm not trying to be all motivational, but at the end of the day, bro, like, you know, your story is going to be written by you. No excuses, guys. Get to work, set some goals, and watch what happens if you work hard for the rest of the year. Let's get it, guys. Talk soon. You guys saw the moment of truth. Let's see. So for this meal, it came out to 123 liras. Honestly, that's not bad at all for everything that we got. It was really filling, it was really good. So I'm pretty happy with this breakfast. All right guys, so pretty much we finished eating already. We got our breakfast, it was super good. And now we're about to head back to our Airbnb. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and let's get it.